Yeah, hello everyone. Yeah, good morning. So today we learn about the ecology. Okay. So today we learn about the ecology. What is the meaning of ecosystem? Okay. What is the meaning of food chain? What is the meaning of food waste? Okay. So आज हम लोग क्या सीखने वाले हैं कि ecology है क्या? Okay. Ecosystem मंजे का है. Okay. So today we learn about the ecology. So the ecology is nothing but the study about the living organism. is interrelation to between the environment okay so study of living organism and the interaction of this living organism in a natural environment this is called as a ecology okay so you can come slide over bahu sakta so ecology it deals with the study of living organism in their natural home interacting with surrounding interacting interacting with surrounding means interacting with physical environment okay So this is called as a ecology. Okay. So the ecology term first coined by Ernest Haeckel. The ecology was the term ecology was coined by Ernest Haeckel in 1869. Okay. So how do question it? So tomorrow final exam will be Vicharla Zai. Okay. So this is all about the terminology. This is the definition. The ecology means the study of living organism. With their surrounding and and the interaction with the physical environment, this is called as ecology. And the term ecology was coined by Ernest Haeckel in 1869. Okay, so the ecology is a Greek word. Okay, is a Greek word. So eco means okios. Okay, the okios is a Greek word, and the okios means home, and the log is means study. Okay, so the ecology. Okay, so eco is a ecology is a Greek word. Okay, so Greek word is a okios. The okios means home, and the logos means the study. Okay, so uh, when we study about the ecology, we study about the living organism part. Okay, so in our physical environment, there are the two types of component. The first is a biotic component, and the another one is a abiotic component. Okay, so there are the two types of component. The first is a biotic component. And the another one is a abiotic component. Okay. So what is the meaning of plus biotic component? The biotic component are those those are living. Okay. So the biotic component these are the living things. Okay. So uh, which are the living things? These are the plants, animals, microorganism. Okay. In the microorganism there are the various fungus. Okay. Microfauna, flora. Okay. So this is all about the biotic. component okay. okay so these are the biotic component class okay uh, in next okay so we study about the now we study about the abiotic component okay. so what is the meaning of abiotic component okay so abiotic component means those are non living okay a biotic okay biotic means living a biotic means a non living okay so which are the non living component like yeah yes jo tumcha mind madhe vichar yete tes okay so kon kon je ahet non living component like soil okay air water sunlight minerals okay so these are the a biotic component okay so this biotic and a biotic component are uh, present in our physical environment okay now we uh, study about the ecosystem okay so what is the meaning of ecosystem class so ecosystem means the study about the biotic component as well as abiotic component and their interrelationship okay biotic and abiotic component are present in environment and they interact with each other they are interrelationship with each other in a physical environment this is called as a ecosystem okay the ecology is a separate term and the ecosystem is a separate term okay now uh, the ecology term was coined by ag tansley okay in 1935 okay in 1935 ag tansley the uh, term ecosystem was coined okay now uh, we move to the next slide so these are the class ecosystem okay uh, 
so the these are the pond uh, ecosystem okay so uh, in pond ecosystem uh, you look about that okay so these are the water these are abiotic component okay uh, then these are the soil 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 is a abiotic component and the frog fish snail okay this is dragon fly these are the biotic component and this biotic component or biotic component they are interrelated with each other okay and in a physical environment this is called as a ecosystem when they thought that uh, without soil okay without soil plant can't be grow or without water okay fish jivant rahu shakto ka ta nahi so that's why this biotic component and a biotic component they are interdependent on each other okay so uh, this is about the terminology of ecosystem now uh, in an ecosystem is an integrated unit consisting of uh, interacting of plants animals and microorganism whose survival depends upon and the maintenance and the regulation of their biotic and abiotic structure like jaso thoda purvi tumhala sangitla tas okay so this ecosystem is a unit or a system which are compose a number of sub units okay and and that all are directly or indirectly with uh, linked with each other okay so these are the uh, various units like uh, water uh, sun sunlight and soil are the one unit okay and the frog fish snail plants are the another unit okay so this both unit are interdependent on each other or the, they are in, indirectly linked with each other okay so this is called as a ecosystem okay yeah now yeah so uh, look at over here class so uh, when we study about the uh, ecosystem we study about the structural characteristics of ecosystem okay Uh, the ecosystem is divided into the two parts like we earlier discussed like biotic factors and abiotic factors we already discussed about the abiotic factors these are the sun light okay then soil water air these are the abiotic factors okay then biotic factors are divided into the three important part the first is a producer the second one is a consumer and the third one is a decomposer okay so these are the biotic factors the first is a producer the second one is a consumer and the third one is a decomposer okay and now the consumer are again divided into the three important uh, parts these are the primary consumer the primary consumer this is also called as a herbivorous animals herbivorous means those animals are dependent on grass or plants this is those animals is called as a herbivorous animal so what are the example of the herbivorous animals like deer okay rabbit grasshopper these are the herbivorous uh, animals and the insects okay so these are the primary consumer okay when these are the secondary consumer okay the secondary consumer or is also called as a primary carnivore this secondary consumer i dependent on primary consumer manje ye uh, je primary carnivores astar na animals plus the primary uh, carnivores like uh, fox okay jackal okay so they dependent on rabbit or the deer okay so these are the uh, primary uh, carnivores then the third is a tertiary uh, consumer the tertiary consumer is also known as a secondary consumer uh, in the tertiary consumer like lion tiger okay uh, eagle okay these are the secondary not so sorry these are the secondary carnivores or this is also called as a tertiary consumer okay so this is all about the structural characteristics okay now yeah in a biotic structure now we discuss about the uh, each uh, every individual of biotic structure like we study about the producer then consumer and decomposer apan ek 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 baghnar avot okay in a biotic structure we include the plants animals microorganisms okay so these organisms have different nutritional behavior and the status in an ecosystem okay and uh, are according to know as the producer and the consumer are based on how they get their food okay so ya ata apan baghnar avot okay so the producer are mainly 
free plants okay so they which are synthesized their food themselves okay uh, in the process of photosynthesis activity okay so you know about the uh, photosynthesis activity the light energy is generated uh, converted into the uh, chemical energy form okay like co2 6 co2 6 h2o in the presence of light we form a glucose c6 h12 o6 okay so these are the photosynthesis activity okay so those plants are dependent on light those called as a photo autotrophs okay so the first we know about the autotrophic organism what is the meaning of autotrophic organism those organism they produce their own food this is called as a autotrophic okay what is the meaning of autotrophic class those organism are dependent on bone to produce own own food okay this is called as a autotrophic but if the organism sotasa anna sotha banu sakta then apan kya mato autotrophic organism apan manto okay so uh, and those organism are dependent on light for the making of food this is called as a photo autotrophic okay or mostly all plants are the photo autotrophic okay so these are the various plants like uh, sunflower okay then various trees okay uh, these are the coniferous trees these are the photo autotrophs okay so the one is a photo autotrophs and the another one is a chemo autotrophs okay these are the uh, two types okay so the what is the meaning of photo autotroph the auto means cell okay troph means for food and photo means light okay so light chi help yon je organism sota sa anna sota banavta tala apan kay manto photo autotrophic organism apan manto okay so this is all about the producer now next yeah so uh, plus so they are known as a uh, some microorganism which like we now we study about the chemo autotroph what is the meaning of chemo autotroph plus so some microorganism which can produce organic matter to some extent through oxidation of a certain chemical in the absence of sunlight okay kai jo organism asta te kay karta ki organic matter produce karta okay ani teja oxidation karta ani teja pasun kai chemicals form karta with the absence of sunlight okay so this organism this is called as a chemosynthetic organism or the chemo autotroph okay so uh, this they uh, the, this organism also be produce their own food okay so that why is called as a chemo autotrophic organism okay so the eleven present in the earth and four are released in the oceans then okay so there are the another one okay now the next one yeah consumer now we study about the consumers okay so what is the meaning of consumer class so the all the organism which get their organic food by feeding upon other organism means those organism are dependent on the another organism for the uh, feeding for the feeding purpose okay this is called as a consumer okay so uh, what are the consumer there are the various types of consumer there are the herbivorous the herbivorous is also known as a primary consumer okay then carnivorous okay the carnivorous are the secondary consumer okay the omnivorous okay so there, there are the various types the herbivorous carnivorous omnivorous carnivorous abhi ata apan kay bagnar aho ki pratyek je types of consumer se apan ek ek bagnar aho so what is the meaning of herbivorous animals class so those animals those organism are only eat plants okay those organism are only eat plants this is called as a herbivorous okay like rabbit like deer okay so these are the herbivorous animals okay so what are the carnivorous animals those organisms only eat animals or the only eat meat okay so this is called as a carnivorous animals okay like uh, some spider species are dependent on uh, a dragon fly okay dragon fly la tancha je web asta okay te web madhe te pasta dragon fly ani te but he je spider hai te tancha var consume karta or lion tiger fox jackal these are the carnivorous animals okay so what is the meaning of omnivorous class the omnivorous is those 
animals uh, are dependent on both plants as well as animals okay this is called as a omnivorous uh, omnivorous okay omnivorous organism now so what is the meaning of scavenger class so scavenger means those organism are eat the bodies of their organism okay the scavenger means those organism are eat bodies of dead organism is called as a scavenger manje melilya je prani asta okay tancha var je dependent asnare jo organism sai tanna apan ta bolto scavengers manto okay the example is a uh, vulture okay crow okay so these are the scavengers okay yeah now so there are the various types of these are the uh, consumers now now we the uh, discuss about the third important part of under the uh, biotic components which are the decomposers ata apan already kay shiklelo hai producer pahile apan okay kon kon se producer hai photo autotrophic then chemo autotrophic organisms badhitle okay plants badhitle sorry uh, then tya nantar apan kay badhitle consumers badhitle what is the meaning of consumers apan pahile tya nantar types of consumers pahile apan tya are the herbivores कार्निओरस ओमनिओरस स्कॅव्हेंजर्स हे आपण पाहिले नाउ वी डिस्कस अबाउट द डीकंपोजर्स ओके सो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डीकंपोजर क्लास ओके सो द डीकंपोजर्स मींस दे डिराइव देयर न्यूट्रिशन बाय ब्रेकिंग डाउन ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल्स टू अ सिमिलर ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड ओके म्हणजे जे काही हे ऑर्गेनिझम असतात ते काय करतात की कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑर्गेनिक जे मॅटर असतात लाइक यू नो the the plant structure are made up of, of lignin and cellulose. Okay, so these are the complex oligo, uh, organic molecules. Okay, so ते जे cellulose आणि lignin आहे त्यांना पूर्णपणे काय करतात डिकम्पोज करतात इन अ सिमिलर ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड अँड अल्टिमेटली इन टू द इनऑर्गेनिक न्यूट्रिशन ओके सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज ए डिकम्पोजर्स ओके सो द वेरियस बॅक्टेरिया अँड द फंजाय आर द decomposers okay so there are the uh, two types class okay i am not that mention over here there are the microfauna and uh, uh, macro and microfauna okay so the worm mushroom insect and small bacteria so these are the decomposers okay and decomposers are play a very important role like all i already discussed uh, key they kai karta they break down a complex organic molecule in a Uh, similar organic compound and ultimately into the inorganic nutrition okay and he the inorganic nutrition of certain class they punna time meter punna la meter plants la meter so ashi ji apli bio geochemical cycle hai ye kya aste continuously chalat rahte so this is all about the decomposers okay next one yeah so now we discuss about the uh, abiotic structure okay so uh, what is the meaning of plus abiotic structure okay so abiotic means they are the non living okay so uh, what are the non living things class already discussed up until like akya kai slides mode so sunlight wind rain water soil these are the abiotic component okay so the abiotic structure means the physical and the chemical component of an ecosystem constitute its a abiotic structure okay so such as climatic factors like edific edific factors means soil factors okay geographical factors uh, then energy nutrition and trophic substance these are the all are the abiotic structures okay now we study about the physical factors okay so uh, see class the sunlight uh, the sunlight is an important abiotic factor so everyone knows without sunlight the plant uh can be uh, produce their own food okay so uh plant kay karu without sunlight can so food produce karu shakat nahi okay so the food temule kay honar the sunlight nahi nahi tar photosynthesis activity nahi honar temule the food produce karu shakna nahi ani ma tejavar dependent asnare je primary consumer hai like herbivorous animals hai okay te tanna te food milna nahi okay so these are the one chain हो और अल्टिमेटली त्यामुळे काय होणार की फूड चेन जी असते ती अल्टिमेटली ब्रेक होते की आपण पुढे बघणार आहोत ओके सो सनलाइट अँड द शेड द इंटेन्सिटी ऑफ सोलर प्लस द ड्युरेशन ऑफ सन अवर्स 
average temperature, maximum minimum temperature, annual rainfall, wind, latitude, longitude, soil type. Okay, so these are the important physical features which have strong influence in an ecosystem. मतलब यहाँ तक नहीं जो mentioned थी ना सर्वोच्च physical factors, जो खूब influence करता है ecosystem को. Okay, without this uh, abiotic factors or this physical factors. Uh, इकोसिस्टीम फॉर्म हो शकत नहीं म्हणजे इकोसिस्टीम बनू शकत नाही म्हणजे तुम्ही एग्जांपल बना एग्जांपल बघा की आपल्या सोसायटी मध्ये किंवा आपल्या घराच्या आजूबाजूला आपण झाडं लावलेली असतो झाडे लावलेली असतात तर ज्या झाडे लावलेली आहेत त्यांना जर आपण पाणी जर पाणी काय आहे वॉटर इज अ अबायोटिक फॅक्टर्स आहे ओके देन त्यांना आपण सनलाइट जर भेटली नाही वॉटर जर भेटले नाही तर ते प्लांट ग्रो होऊ शकणार आहेत का नाही सो दॅट्स व्हाय या ठिकाणी मी मेंशन केलेले आहे बघा की दिस uh these physical features okay like wind rain fall sunlight they have a strong influence on an ecosystem the ecosystem create karna sathi khup influence karta kya pratyek goshti vat okay and these all these factors are affect the lives and distribution of living organisms this i have explained to you tumhala okay so all these factors are affect the lives and distribution of living organism okay so this is all about the physical factor next Yeah, the chemical factors. Now, what is the meaning of so chemical factors? Plus, so there are the uh, various uh, essential nutrients uh, like uh, carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, okay, hydrogen, oxygen, sulfur. There are the sixteen important uh, nutrition uh, are important to the plants. Okay, so this nutrition are important to this uh, for the purpose of the ग्रोविंग ऑफ अ प्लांट्स ओके हे न्यूट्रिशन इंपॉर्टंट असतं कशासाठी तर प्लांट्स ग्रोथ होण्यासाठी ओके सो ओके सो या ठिकाणी तुम्ही बघू शकता की दिस प्रेझेंट इन अ सॉइल ऑर वॉटर लार्जली इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन द फंक्शन ऑफ इकोसिस्टम इकोसिस्टमचं हे फंक्शन म्हणजे त्यांचं रेग्युलर ऍक्टिव्हिटी चालू राहण्यासाठी हे न्यूट्रिशन हे खूप इसेन्शियल असतात ओके सो नाव वी स्टडी अबाउट अ ट्रॉपिक स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो व्हॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ट्रॉपिक स्ट्रक्चर प्लस ऑल द ट्रॉपिक लेवल म्हणजे काय ते आता आपण बघणार आहोत बघा की द वन ऑर्गनिझम सी प्लस सो द वन ऑर्गनिझम आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन द अनदर ऑर्गनिझम फॉर द बेसिस ऑफ द एनर्जी ओके एनर्जी साठी साठी काय असतो की एक ऑर्गनिझम हा दुसऱ्या ऑर्गनिझम वर काय असतो डिपेंडेंट असतो सो द ट्रॉपिक स्ट्रक्चर मीन्स इट इज अ पॅटर्न ऑफ अ मुवमेंट ऑफ एनर्जी अँड अ मॅटर थ्रू अ इकोसिस्टम हा एक पॅटर्न आहे कशाचा तर मुवमेंट ऑफ एनर्जीचा कशामध्ये तर इकोसिस्टीम मध्ये ओके या सो इट रिझल्ट अ कॉम्प्रेसिंग अ कम्युनिटी फुल वेब इन दो सिरीज ऑफ ट्रॉपिक लेवल ओके सो द प्रोड्युसर अँड द कंझ्युमर आर द अरेंज इन एन इकोसिस्टीम इन अ डेफिनेट मॅटर ओके डेफिनेट मॅनर मध्ये काय केलेलं असतात प्रोड्युसर अँड कंझ्युमर काय अरेंज केले जातात म्हणजे The producer प्रोड्युसर plants. Plants are dependent कोण आहेत प्रायमरी कन्झ्युमर आहेत सेकंडरी टर्सरी कन्झ्युमर आहेत ओके त्या जेव्हा हे कन्झ्युमर्स ऑर प्लांट्स काय होतात डेड होतात तर त्याच्यावर डिपेंडेंट काय डिकम्पोज असेल सो हे डेफिनेट मॅनर मध्ये काय असतं सिक्वेन्स चेन मध्ये काय असतात हे एकमेकांशी इंटरॅक्ट होत असतात ऑलॉंग विथ द पॉप्युलेशन साईज आर एक्सप्रेस टू टुगेदर ऍज ए ट्रॉपिक स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो इच फूड लेवल इज नोन एज ए tropic level okay means uh, the plants are depend on light uh, light sunlight okay so the carnivores or the sorry the producer are depend on plants the carnivores are depend on herbivores okay and the decomposers are depend on the both plants and animals okay or the uh, decompose organic matter okay so it sequence hai, okay so tela apan kya mato tropic level mato Okay, so the amount of living matter at each tropic level at a given time is known as a standing crop or the standing biomass. Okay, the amount of living matter at each tropic level. Okay, so the amount of living matter at each tropic level. अतः अपन बगना दाउ as a at as a like triangle tropic level आस्ते. Okay, आनी the amount of living matter मंजे जे living organism है ते present आस्ते each tropic level वर मंजे base Like a word, one word. Okay, so the amount of living matter at each tropic level, this is called as the standing crop or the standing biomass. So, our next 
लाइन मध्य बोक्ते हैं ओके या सो अतः अपन बोलो कि फूड चेन मंजे का है ओके सो द सीक्वेंस ऑफ ईटिंग एंड बीइंग ईटर इन एन इकोसिस्टम इसको अलग दे फूड चेन मंजे सीक्वेंस ऑफ ईटिंग सीक्वेंस ऑफ ईटिंग मींस द द ग्रास ऑफर आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन दिस ग्रास ओके द माइस और द फ्रॉग आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन द ग्रास ऑफर ओके सो दिस कार्निवोरस प्राइमरी कार्निवोरस एनिमल्स ओके और सॉरी द सेकेंडरी कार्निवोरस एनिमल्स आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन माइस सो दिस आर द सीक्वेंस ओके द सीक्वेंस ऑफ ईटिंग सीक्वेंस ऑफ ईटिंग बीइंग ईटन इन एन इकोसिस्टम दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ फूड चेन ओके त्याला आपण काय म्हणतो फूड चेन असं म्हणत म्हणत असतो ओके द ऑल ऑर्गनिझम लिविंग और डेड आर पोटेंशियल फूड फॉर सम और अदर ऑर्गनिझम एंड दिस देयर इज अ इसेंशियल नो वेस्ट इन द फंक्शन ऑफ द नेचुरल इकोसिस्टम ओके सो प्रत्येक ऑर्गनिझम हा प्रत्येक दुसरे ऑर्गनिझम वर आर डिपेंडेंट असतो या ठिकाणी मी बघताय पूर्ण चेन ओके सो दिस आर द प्रोड्युसर ओके Uh, so the grasshopper are dependent on this plants okay this mice are dependent on grasshopper or the frog are dependent on the grasshopper then these are the uh, secondary carnivorous species okay are dependent on mice and this uh, bird okay this bird or the tertiary carnivorous species is dependent on both uh, carnivorous species okay and after the dead of jeva ha jo bird hai to dead hoto teva kay hoto ki te decompose hota okay through a uh, various fungi and bacteria okay so yala apan kay mantu food chain asa mantu okay so these are the sequence now let's yeah so these are the uh, grassland ecosystem and these are the various food chain of grassland ecosystem so these are the producer okay ya yeah, producer work kon dependent hai tar ya dikane tum bagta hai ki je herbivorous animals hai like uh, cow then uh, deer or sambar okay so these are the uh, herbivorous animals okay ya yeah, herbivorous animals work kon dependent hai tiger dependent hai after the dead of tiger or dead of uh this plants this decomposes organism or the microorganism are dependent on this dead material so, so these are the decomposers they kind of the complex the uh, organic compound start then break karun inorganic form madhe convert kartat ani tya mul dun tanna kay mhanta nutrition mil ani punna te plants la milta so these are the one of the food chain okay so the, these are the food chain in a uh, water ecosystem okay the sunlight जे फायटोप्लॅक्टॉन्स असतात ओके फायटोप्लॅक्टॉन्स असतात ते काय करतात सन पासून काय करतात सनलाइट घेतात आणि या ठिकाणी काय करतात त्यांचं फूड बनवतात सो फायटोप्लॅक्टॉन्स वर डिपेंडेंट कोण आहेत तर हे झू प्लॅक्टॉन्स आहेत म्हणजे श्रीम ओके त्याला आपण लहानशी कोळंबी मराठीत म्हणू शकतो किंवा झिंगे म्हणतात मराठीमध्ये ओके सो श्रीम वर कोण डिपेंडेंट आहेत तर दे आर दी व्हॅरियस फिश स्पेसिस सो दीज आर दी secondary uh, or the tertiary consumers are there okay carnivorous species are and they are dependent on the tertiary uh, carnivora or quaternary carnivorous species so bird okay so these are the food chain of a water ecosystem so there are the various food chain in a various types of ecosystem grassland madhe apan ata hi food chain pahili okay water madhe food chain vegli hai okay forest madhe je jungle hai tethi फूड चेन आहे ती आपण वेगळी पाहणार आहोत सो दे आर दी व्हॅरियस फूड चेन प्रेझेंट इन अवर इकोसिस्टम ओके नेक्स्ट मध्ये आपण बघतो या सो इन अ टुंड्रा टुंड्रा इकोसिस्टम ओके दे आर दी व्हॅरियस बायोम्स आर प्रेझेंट इन एन अवर अर्थ दे आर दी टोटल 14 बायोम प्रेझेंट इन अवर अर्थ ओके so these are the they are the the tundra biome is one of the largest biome okay so this tundra biome are situated in the northern pole okay the northern pole of uh, near to the northern pole of our earth okay so uh, mostly the climate is very harsh okay 
so uh, the, the very few species are found over there okay so these are the deer species are uh, dependent on the plants okay uh, plants were uh, plants were cone dependent the deer species is okay deer species were dependent i carnivorous species okay so the, these are the various uh, food chain you know various types of ecosystem pratyek ecosystem madhe apan kay bagalo vegetable food chain bagalo okay so yeah rodent were dependent on it the owl dependent is fox dependent is okay? so pratyek ecosystem madhe apela vegetable food chain paayla milte okay now next so now the tropic level class okay so there are the the tropic level so each organism in an ecosystem is assigned a feeding level or a tropic level depending on the nutrition status okay manje pratyek organism ha dusra organism va ka asto dusra organism ha manje ek organism ha dusra organism dependent asto for the purpose of nutrition and energy okay so uh, the grass hopper okay so the plants is a autotroph okay so these are the uh, herbivores okay these are the secondary consume primary consumer uh, these are the secondary consumers okay and these are the tertiary consumer okay so the grass hopper is a first tropic level these are the second tropic level and these are the third tropic level okay so there are the various tropic levels are present in uh, various uh, types of food chain okay so uh, there are the various food chain also be present in our ecosystem like grazing food chain and gateways food chain grazing food chain jasa apan magta slides madhe bagitla ki grass were dependent on rabbit rabbit were dependent on fox fox ani rabbit were dependent on kon ahe tar tiger dependent ahe so these are the grazing example of grazing food chain what is the gateways food chain uh, the dead plants uh, plant species ahe okay dead plant were dependent on kon ahe तर डिकम्पोजर्स आहे आफ्टर द डिकम्पोजर्स काय करतात ते न्यूट्रिशन कोणाला कोणा देतात प्लांट्स वर जातात सो दीस आर द वेरियस फूड चेन ओके सो दे आर द वेरियस फूड चेन प्रेझेंट इन आवर इकोसिस्टम ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट या सो दीस आर द डेडलेस फूड चेन ओके सो दे आर द डेड मॅंग्रोव्स ट्री लीव्स ओके ओवर हियर ओके सो हे आता आपण कशामधली बघतोय फूड चेन तर जी वॉटर इकोसिस्टम मधले जे डिकम्पोजर्स आहेत ते आपण बघतोय डिकम्पोजर्स ऑर्गनिझम काय करतात की या ठिकाणी ही जे प्लांट्स लिव्स आहेत त्यांना डिकम्पोज करतात आणि पुन्हा न्यूट्रिशन कुणाला भेटतात प्लांट्स ला मिळतात ओके सो काही जे फायटो प्लॅन्टॉन्स असतात ते न्यूट्रिशन वर डिपेंडेंट असतात ओके ते फायटो प्लॅन्टॉन्स वर कोण डिपेंडेंट असतात पुन्हा झो प्लॅन्टॉन्स ओके आणि जो प्लॅन्टॉन्स वर डिपेंडेंट कोण असतात तर ते आधी सेकंडरी कार्निवर स्पेसी लाईक फ्रीज सो दीज आर दी वन ऑफ द काइंड ऑफ फूड चेन ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट या सो क्लास नाउ वी डिस्कस अबाउट द फूड वेब फूड चेन पहिले आपण द ऑर्गनिझम आर ईटन बाय ईटन ओके सो ऑर द द ऑर्गनिझम आर डिपेंडेंट फॉर वन ऑर्गनिझम आर डिपेंड ऑन अदर ऑर्गनिझम for the purpose of food and the energy is called as a food chain okay so like food chain there are the another terminology is a food web what is the meaning of food web class okay so these are the interlocking pattern or an interlocking network of a food chain this is called as a food web this is a basic terminology what is the meaning of food web the food web is nothing but the interlocking pattern of food chain this is called as a food web okay so these are the uh producer okay these are the plant yeah plants were both one dependent asu sakta class okay so grass were both one dependent asu sakto okay uh, like crop uh, as a well, grass were both one dependent he maybe apan bakto interlocking pattern okay so just like ata ya apan bakto yacha madhe kay ki algae and water weed mhanje ata hi ena water ecosystem madhi food web dilele hai okay we आपण आधी बघितलेले ते ग्रासलँड मध्ये पाहिलं आपण तर आता आपण बघतोय काय तर वॉटर मध्ये बघतोय तर वॉटर इकोसिस्टीम मध्ये फूड वेब बघतोय सो दिस आर दी अलगी अँड वॉटर वेड ओके सो या प्रोड्युस वर डिपेंडेंट कोण आहे तर प्रॉन आहे ओके कार्पन आहे प्लाय आहे स्लग पण आहे हे सर्व कोष्टावर डिपेंडेंट आहे तर हे प्लांट्स वर डिपेंडेंट 
पण हा जो मोठा फिश आहे ओके दे आर दी बिग फिश ओके ऑर द सेकेंडरी कंझ्यू टर्शरी कंझ्युमर दे डिपेंडेंट ऑन बोथ कार्प एंड द प्रॉन म्हणजे हा फक्त प्रॉन वर डिपेंडेंट नाही तर कार्प वर पण डिपेंडेंट आहे ओके अँड दिस किंग फिशर ऑल्सो बी डिपेंडेंट ऑन दिस बिग फिश एंड ऑल्सो बी द कार्प एंड प्रॉन ओके सो दीज आर द इंटरलॉकिंग पॅटर्न ओके सो दीज आर द इंटरलॉकिंग पॅटर्न ऑफ फूड चेन दिस कॉल्ड इज अ फूड वेब ओके सो ईच एंड एव्हरी डिफरंट इकोसिस्टम मध्ये आपण डिफरंट फूड वेब आपण पाहायला मिळतो ग्रासलँड मध्ये वेगळी फूड वेब असणार आहे फॉरेस्ट इकोसिस्टम मध्ये वेगळी फूड वेब असणार आहे ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द फूड वेब ओके या नाव नेक्स्ट yeah c class so uh, this is all about the uh, two days lecture okay atta paryanta apan food wave paryanta yon thamlelo hai okay next lecture la apan next food wave apan pahanar aho okay so today we stop here and next lecture we discuss about the different types of food wave okay